வணக்கம் வெல்கம் டு திஸ் வீடியோ ஆன் பயோமெக்கானிக்ஸ் வி பின் லுக்கிங் அட் த டெர்மினாலஜிஸ் வித் இன் பயோமெக்கானிக்ஸ் அண்ட் டிஸ்கஸிங் ஹவு த ஹியூமன் பாடி கேன் பி கன்சிடர்ட் டு பி அ பயோமெக்கானிக்கல் சிஸ்டம் இந்த லாஸ்ட் வீடியோ வி சா சம் டெர்மினாலஜிஸ் வி டிஃபைன் சம் பிளேன்ஸ் அண்ட் சம் ஆக்சஸ் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வில் பி லுக்கிங் அட் சம் ஸ்பெசிஃபிக் மூமெண்ட்ஸ் தட் ஹேப்பன் in one of the three planes that we discussed last time in this video we will be focusing on movements within the sagittal plane what is the sagittal plane we saw what this is the sagittal plane is the one that divides the body into a left side and the right side remember not necessarily a left half and a right half okay that sagittal plane which divides the body into a left half and a right half is called as the mid sagittal plane here we are only focusing on some sagittal plane okay a sagittal plane that divides it into two parts not necessarily two halves two parts a left side and a right side it is like this right it is like this okay now what are the movements that happen within this plane first of all are human movements restricted to a single plane this is a critical question because it seems to us like when you are really moving it seems like the movements are not restricted to a single plane almost all the movements are 3d but here i am discussing a planar movement what are these movements the reason why i am doing that is because we can assume that most of the movements in can be planar we can assume that most of the movements are planar so we discuss or we approximate these movements as planar okay so now considering that what are those movements that happen within a sagittal plane or parallel to the sagittal plane any movement that has to happen in the sagittal plane will have to happen about that axis which is going from the left side to the right side or from the right side to the left side or the from the middle to the side the medio lateral axis the movement the rotation will happen about the medio lateral axis so one such movement is flexion no i'm having my elbow like this i am doing this this is elbow flexion now we watch here i'm having my elbow like this i am closing my elbow this is a decrease in this angle right in the angle between my humerus and the radius along when that angle decreases it's called flexion now i am keeping my hand like this my arm like this and i am opening it up now this angle is increasing is going up right this increase in this angle is called extension right now this movement is happening in this plane for me right remember the plane when i am looking at you or when i am turning around is always sagittal to me it is with reference to the particular organism that is moving it is ref- it is with reference to the particular human being who is moving so when i am turning around my sagittal plane is this so when i am doing flexion or extension the movement is happening about the medio lateral axis that is passing through the elbow joint here like this right so flexion extension flexion is a uh, reduction in the joint angle between body parts of course this is a simple example there are some cases in which it is not so clear now i am having the wrist i am doing that is it flexion or extension flexion how do you say that well because i am measuring this with reference to the anatomical reference position this is the anatomical reference position now i am reducing the wrist angle this is called wrist flexion and this is called extension 
this is called flexion that is called extension what about the leg what about what happens at the ankle for example in this case right i am this movement also can be called as flexion and extension right let's consider this hand to be the foot i am doing that i am doing that that would be normally called because the feet are feet are like this not like this remember i can keep my hand in the anatomical reference position such that the palm faces outside but if i am keeping the feet such that the sole of the foot is visible i cannot stand is it not so in the anatomical reference position itself my feet are down facing down so that is the anatomical reference position now that means this is the sole of the foot this is the the top of the foot and this is this can be considered to be an ankle i can consider like this let's consider my hand is my foot right so i am moving my leg i am moving my foot such that the toe is coming closer to the shank when that is happening when that is happening you would normally call that as flexion but biology is so special that exception is the rule in biology here we don't call it as flexion rather we call it as dorsiflexion okay so that is called as dorsiflexion that is a movement of the foot upward right that is called as dorsiflexion then you have a situation in which you are trying to stand up on your toes like this like that you are trying to do that when your toes are going down and your ankle is lifting up when you do something like that right that is called plantar flexion normally you would call this as extension right normally you would call this as extension but here this is called as plantar flexion remember in biology exception is the rule so in this video we have seen sagittal plane movements that is uh, flexion and extension and dorsiflexion and plantar flexion thank you very much for your attention mm -hmm.